Snyder, how do you evaluate your preseason and how do you feel about your chances to make this team? Uh, I feel like I've had a strong preseason. Um, you know, I feel like coming in here, uh, I knew which kind of role I was, you know, trying to make the team for. And, um, you know, I feel like I've been playing hard, um, playing, you know, finishing checks, doing all the little things, um, you know, blocking shots, good sticks, uh, playing good defense. So um, I feel like I've had a strong preseason so far. And, um, yeah, I'm just looking to continue that tonight. Uh, having had the opportunity now for tonight playing five of the six preseason games, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for you to best foot forward, but also do you feel like you've kind of shaken off any offseason rust with that number of games? Yeah, definitely. Um, especially, I mean, with how much skating we've been doing and, um, you know, like you said, you know, playing five of the six preseason games. Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, easier to get back into the game flow and, the, you know, the flow of things. So I think that's definitely helped me, um, you know, playing so many preseason games. Yeah, you feel like tonight's a good chance to maybe sort of punctuate your preseason and show the coaches, you know, one more glimpse of your game? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think tonight uh, game plan you know, for me, it doesn't really change, you know, just continue to play hard, uh, simple, um, you know, just do little things, play smart. There's really only been one day of systems work so far, so it means you can't make too much of anything in preseason. Um, a lot gets made of the, the offensive side of the puck, but do you feel like the team, if you look at the way the scores have been kept down, everybody's kind of buying into, you know, playing with, playing with discipline, not cheating out of the zone, and those little kind of details are always staying in. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think, you know, everyone's, like you said, just buying in and, um, you know, buying in the little details of the game and, um, you know, they, they have an emphasis on being aggressive. And I think, you know, guys are doing that. And, you know, obviously it's a game of mistakes, so mistakes are going to happen. But um, as long as you're, you know, playing aggressive and, you know, you're playing downhill, then uh, I think it gives you a better chance. So how much do you uh, adjust your style of play based on the, the line days that you're playing with? For example, tonight you're playing with you know, two guys that are they're very physical. You know they tend to drop the gloves a fair amount. What does that do to kind of your mindset going into to a shift and into a game? Uh, just play hard. Um, you know I know who I'm playing with tonight, and you know I know those guys are you know both bigger guys play hard. You know they like to throw the body around. So um, I just gotta you know do the same thing, throw the body around. You know be felt on, you know, for their defensemen and, um, you know, establish some forecheck tonight and, you know, get the puck uh, kind of hemmed in in their D zone and, um, yeah, just play a good fourth line role tonight. This is five games in 11 days for you and for a lot of the other younger players. Do you feel like part of that uh, for John Tortorella is to see how you guys play in an NHL style schedule and also pushing through fatigue and, and being tired? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think that's definitely a factor, you know. Um, see how, you know, our bodies feel and see how well conditioned we are and stuff. Um, but no, um, I think it's good, like uh, your earlier question, to, you know, get a decent amount of preseason games in, and, you know, kind of get up to game speed. So. Awesome. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.